Welcome back to Ask the Sales Professor. I'm Professor Ben, and this is your opportunity to learn from other sales professionals' successes and their challenges. Or to make the most of our time together, ask your sales questions in the comment section below so we can work through your challenges together. Today's question comes in from LinkedIn, and Milana asks, how do I send cold emails to prospects without sounding like a robot? Hmm, we've all been there. For a little background, she's sending about 10 to 15 emails a day and has the time to invest in a little research to make sure the prospects are part of her target audience. Oh man, sending cold emails is a fairly common practice. I get them all the time and it's very difficult to get noticed. Now, since your strategy is focused on quality, unlike automated campaigns that are focused on quantity, there are some steps you can take, however, to increase your response rate and get some new prospects in your pipeline. So Milana, here are three key points to follow to help make your email sound less robotic and increase your response rate. When it comes to targeting prospecting, you'll likely need a combination of phone calls and emails to get your prospect's attention. So your first step here is to design your prospecting cadence. Here's an example of a popular format that a lot of sales professionals use. First start with an intro email, then conduct two sales calls without leaving a voicemail, then one sales call with leaving a voicemail, and one sales call without leaving a voicemail. From there, you'll send one more follow-up email and one more sales call with a voicemail. Now, in some cases, you may want to try a different cadence and really experiment with what works best for your industry and your target audience. For example, some sales professionals find better results with one sales call with no message, a sales call with a message, an email, and then a sales call with a message again. While there are a lot of opinions on what cadence pattern works the best, I've not seen much research on what will actually get you the best results. What I have seen from my own experience and in working with clients is that certain formulas work better depending on the target audience and the industry. Now, since this question asks specifically about crafting emails, let's dig into this part a little bit. Your first step is to research the specific individual you're looking to connect with. You wanna learn what interests them specifically. What accomplishments have they recently had? And start your email with that information. So here's a quick example. Mr. Prospect, I read your recent article on LinkedIn about the steps your team employed when rolling out your new technology. It was really inspiring and led me to complete some additional research on the topic. So when they see this email, they know it's a cold email, but it's different from the typical, we increase your bottom line by 4,000% emails. So you actually have a chance of getting their attention. And don't even think about trying to trick them with a response subject line, such as following up from the meeting. You'll just frustrate your prospect, and in some cases, that might even be a spam violation. Next, you'll need a very clear call to action centered around what's in it for them. For example, Based on that research, it looks like our logistics technology may be the perfect way to roll out your new product next year. How does your schedule look for a 15 minute phone call to see if we can help cut your logistics costs like we have in similar situations? Even if we end up not doing business together, I'll be able to share some industry best practices that you may find useful for your rollout. Let me know how your schedule looks Thursday afternoon or maybe Friday morning. Again, this is just an example. You'll want to experiment based on your audience and your industry, but the idea here is that you're showing what's in it for them. Now, once you have your email together and you hit send, you need to be ready to pick up the phone within 48 hours. And of course, not only will you need a plan for the first conversation, you'll also need to prepare a specific follow-up voicemail as there's a great chance that your prospect won't answer the phone the first few times that you call her. Here are a couple of generic steps to follow in that voicemail message. First, make sure you come across as a business professional, not an enthusiastic salesperson. Then, just like your call script, you wanna skip the niceties and get straight to the what's in it for them concept. Remember, the prospect doesn't care who you are or what company you're with, but they do care about themselves, so that's a great place to start. For example, hi Jane, this is Ben. I read your article on LinkedIn and was inspired by what you and your team have accomplished. We've helped several companies in similar situations recognize significant savings on their launch. And with a short call, we'll know if we can do the same for your team. Worst case, I'll share some industry insight with you that you may find useful during your rollout. Again, this is Ben with ABC Company, and my number is... You get the rest of it, right? In this voicemail, you've shown the caller that you know a little bit about them and their company, and you center the action around what's in it for them if they decide to do business with you, and also even if they don't. So it increases the chances of them wanting to get on a phone call with you because either way, 
they win. Again, this is just a generic example. It's a starting point for you to start experimenting with different options specific to your industry. The key here is the formula. You want to show that you know who they are and that they will benefit from even just a quick phone call with you. Now you know what to do. Go out there and start building some productive relationships. I'll see you in the next session. Now, if you like this video and you're committed to being a top 10% sales professional, do the right thing and like and subscribe. And if you're really ready to take your sales career to the next level, share your questions in the comment section and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And you never know, your question might be our next video.